Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm. We are looking at notes 4.7, which are on linear systems of equations. Uh, so the first thing that I want to show you guys before we actually talk about this specific, these specific examples and what a system of equations is, is the fact that if we have one line right here, that means that we have uh, a bunch of points put together to create a line. So this pink line right here has infinite solutions because it has infinite points on a line. The line will go on forever and I can fit in little points in between right here as well. So no matter um, how large or small the line is, there are always going to be infinite solutions. And then if I have another line like this purple line right here, that also has infinite solutions. However, I want to know how many solutions do the pink and the purple line have together? And they have one simultaneous solution. So what does it mean when I say simultaneous? It means that they have one solution at the same time. So basically it's just where it works for both of them at the same time. So right here, this is called a system of equations because there are multiple there are multiple solutions for each individual line, but only one simultaneous solution that will work for both of the lines. So a system of equations is just a um, set of two or more equations that have a simultaneous solution. Simultaneous solution. Okay, so let's take a look at, at example number one. Example number one says y equals x minus 4. So it's in y equals mx plus b format and I can see, oh, the m is 1 and the b is negative 4. So I can go ahead and do my graph. I would start at negative 4, and since the slope is 1 over 1, I would go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, and I would just continue going. Now, I strongly suggest for systems of equations that you actually keep going and draw out as many dots as you can, so that way your line will be as accurate as you possibly can make it, because it's very important that we have an accurate line. Okay? So when I do this right here, here's where my line y equals x minus 4 is. If you notice, my line is much more accurate right now because I had a lot more points to go through, okay? All right, so now this next line, y equals negative 2x plus 5, my slope here is negative 2 over 1, and my y-intercept is 5. So I would start it at 5, and then I would go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, and I would just keep going. And by doing this, it's very clear to me as well uh, where they, the two lines will intersect with each other. So again, I have infinite solutions on my pink line and infinite solutions on my blue line, but on the pink and the blue line together, I only have one solution. Okay, and don't forget to write the equation somewhere on your line so it's clear what your equation is. So where is my one solution that works for both of these guys? It's at 3, negative 1. So my solution, my answer, is going to be at 3, negative 1. Okay, but I want to do a check to make sure that it's right. So in my first equation, I got y equals x minus 4. I'm going to plug in this information into my first equation. So I know that my x value will be 3 and my y value will be negative 1. So it's negative 1 equals 3 minus 4. So I get negative 1 equals negative 1 and it works. Okay, and then in my second equation, y equals negative 2x plus 5. Same thing, I'm going to plug in negative 1 for y, and I'm going to plug in 3 for x. So I get negative 1 equals negative 6 plus 5, so I get negative 1 equals negative 1, and it works. So I'm 100% sure that this equation, um, these two equations have a solution at 3, negative 1, and this right here is my final answer. A lot of people will graph out their lines and won't actually write out what the solution is. That's really important, okay? All right, and number 2. 
in order for me to be able to do question number two, my first equation is 3y plus 18 equals 6x. I need to get that y alone. So how do I get this y alone? So I'm going to subtract the, 16, the 18 from both sides, and I end up getting 3y equals 6x minus 18. Divide everything by 3, right? And I end up getting y equals, well, let me just move this up a little bit so we've got uh, some more room. So we end up getting y equals... 2x minus 6. So let's go ahead and graph this out. This is saying I will start at negative 6 and that my slope is 2 over 1, so I'd go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and I would just keep going with my graph right here. Um, connect your dots. Make sure you're using a straight edge. It's really critical for uh, these types of lines, especially that you are using a straight edge right here. Okay, so this is what my line will look like right here. Don't forget to label your equation on your line. So y equals 2x minus 6 is my first equation. Okay, in my second equation right here, I have x minus y equals 4. So to get rid of that y, I'm going to add it. Why would I get rid of that y? To make it positive. Okay, let's move this over here so we have... Uh, we don't have this in the way right here. I'll move it over there. So uh, now that my y is positive, it's a lot easier to isolate the y. So subtract the 4, and I get x minus 4 equals y. So when I look at this right here, I can tell, oh, my y-intercept is negative 4, and my slope is 1. So I'm going to go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. And I went as far as I can go on the right side, so I'm going to go down one to the left one, down one into the left one. Um, connect my dots with a straight edge. Okay, and make sure your line goes through your points as best as, it, as you can. And it's, again, very clear to me where the solution is going to be because it's where my two graphs will intersect with each other. So my solution is going to be 2, negative 2. That's my answer. But I need to do a check. So in order to do my check, I have to check in my original equations. So if my first equation says 3y plus 18 equals 6x, I will do 3 times my y I figured out is negative 2, okay, plus 18 equals 6, and then here I know that my x is positive 2. So right here, this will become negative 6 plus 18 equals, this turns into a 12, 12 equals 12, and it checks for me. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the other equation. Let's double check to make sure that the other equation is correct. So I, the other equation, sorry, says x minus y equals 4. And instead of x, I'm going to replace it with um, 2. And then I'm going to say minus. And then instead of y, I'm going to replace it with negative 2. And that should equal 4. And remember, if you have a double negative, this turns into a positive. So it's 2 plus 2 equals 4. Um, so then 2 plus 2 is 4, so 4 equals 4, it checks out, we're good to go. Um, and so my solution right here is complete. My solution to this will be 2, negative 2, okay? All right, let's take a look at number 3. In number 3, we've got y equals x. So right here, when I look at this right here, I can tell, oh, my slope is 1, and my y-intercept is 0. So that means I'm going to start at 0, and I'm going to go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, so on and so forth. And then if I run out of room, I can go down 1 into the left one. And so it's very clear to me exactly where my line is going to be. So when I graph out my line, um, I end up getting something that looks as follows. So this is what my line will look like. And don't forget to label the equation on your line again. So y equals x. And then the second line that I have here, y equals x plus 2, is telling me that I should start at 2 because my 
uh, y-intercept is 2, sorry, not 0, 2, and my slope is 1. So I'd go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, so on and so forth. And then when I run out of room, I can go down 1 into the left 1. So that way my graph will end up looking like this. Now, if you notice, when I um, connect my dots, it's very clear that these lines do not intersect and they never will intersect because my lines are parallel. So if my lines are parallel, I have no solution because my graph will never intersect. So we'll say there is no solution because the lines are parallel. Now, when I look at this e these equations, sorry, no solution because the lines are parallel. When I look at these equations, I should be able to tell, oh, those lines are parallel because they have the same slope, so they'll never be um, able to intersect with one another, okay? All right, so now we've got one more to go, and then we'll, we, we will be done for this lesson. I'm just going to move this over to this section right here. So our first line that we have here is 2x plus 3y equals 6. So I need to isolate the y. So I'm going to subtract 2x, and I end up getting 3y equals 6 minus 2x. Then I'm going to divide everything by 3, and I get y equals 6 divided by 3 is 2, and then I can't divide this evenly, so I get 2 minus 2 thirds x. So I know my y-intercept is 2, and my slope is negative 2 thirds. So I'm going to start at 2, and then I'm going to go down 2 and to the right 3 down 2 into the right 3. If I run out of room, I can go up 2 into the left 3, up 2 into the left 3. So then I connect my dots for my line right here. And when I graph it out, it ends up looking as follows. Right? Again, same thing like I've always been saying, do not forget to write your equation on your line so um, and it doesn't matter if you write the original or the new so y equals 2 minus 2 thirds x now let's go ahead and do the same thing for the second equation so my second equation says 4x plus 6y equals 12. so the first thing i'm going to do is subtract the 4x and i end up getting 6y equals 12 minus 4x okay Divide everything by 6, and I get y equals 12 divided by 6 is 2, and then negative 4 over 6 is negative 4 6 x. So this is saying I would start at 2, and I would go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and to the right 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I don't have enough room, so I'm going to go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and to the left 6. Now if you notice, it's the exact same line. How come it's the exact same line? Because when I simplify 4 sixths, I end up getting 2 thirds. So it's y equals 2 minus 2 thirds x. So when I graph my line out right here, the question is going to turn out to be, where does my blue line intersect with my pink line? And the answer to that is everywhere. My blue line is going to intersect with my pink line everywhere because they're the exact same line. So I will have exactly infinite solutions. Okay, sorry, let me just graph this out so you guys can see it um, right here. So this is what my graph will look like right here. They intersect everywhere. So what we say is there are Therefore, there are infinite solutions because they are the same. Sorry, they there are infinite solutions because they are the same line. And that's my answer to question number four. So we've got three different situations that could happen. We could get one solution like we did in one and two. We could get no solutions because the lines are parallel like we did in number three. We could get infinite solutions because they are the same line, okay? 
And uh, that's the lesson. Uh, we're going to apply this information to word problems in our practice uh, and with graphs that are given to you. But um, for the most part, it's all the same idea. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.